Hello everybody, uh, it's been a long time since I have uploaded a new video in this series. I am really sorry for that uh, because I know many of you have been following this series for a long time and all were expecting to finish it faster but the last six months have really been very tough in my life but now things are on track and now I am getting some time to work on these videos. I will try uh, to consistently upload new videos in this series. So. So up to this point, uh, we have updated our controller to save the photo detail in the database and displayed images from the cloud on this property detail component. In this video, uh, we will update this property list component to display the primary image here from the cloud. So let's go ahead and implement all these functionalities next. So let's update this property list component uh, to display the primary photo associated with each property here from the cloud. So first of all, we need to check what API endpoint is being called to load this property list. And the network monitor provided by different browsers are great tool to identify the request being sent in the background when the site is loaded. Let's open the network monitor tab by pressing F12. Press the clear button uh, to clear existing trace and refresh this list page. All of our API calls should appear here in fetch XHR tab. So this is the API endpoint we are calling uh, to load the property list data. Let's look at the response this endpoint is returning. Copy it and paste it here in the JSON viewer. So we are getting the list of properties as a response and if we look at the fields that are being returned for each property, you can see at present we are not returning the image URL of the property here in the API response. So in order to display the primary photo of the property, uh, we need to update this API endpoint uh, to add the primary photo URL field so that uh, we can get the same URL here in the API response. Uh, that we can use in our angular component uh, to display the image. Let's go to this API endpoint in our property controller. So this get property list method is being called uh, to load the property list and we are calling this get properties async method in our property repository uh, to load the properties data. Let's go to this method in property repository. Here in this uh, get properties async method, we need to include the photos entity as well uh, so that we can get the photos URLs uh, associated with a property from the database. So now we have photos reference as well in the property variable, but this is not the object we are directly exposing to our API endpoint. Instead, we are using uh, this property list DTO to expose the different fields uh, related to the property. So we need to update this uh, property list DTO uh, to include the main photo URL. Let's uh, define a new property name uh, photo to expose the main photo URL in the uh, API response. And uh, we need to map the main photo URL uh, in this field in our automapper profile. Let's uh, go to the automapper profile to map this newly added field. So here just like the other fields, uh, we need to create a custom map to map the primary photo URL to the photo field that we just have defined in our DTO. We will have to map uh, from the source and source field that we need to map is photos field. But this photos field is an array of multiple photos. So to get the single photo on the basis of condition, we can use the first or default method of link. Add the required namespace uh, from the system dot link. Here in this method, uh, we can pass the condition uh, to filter the record. So we need to get the photos having the is primary flag true and from this source we just need to get the image URL that we would like to map uh, to our photo field of DTO. That's it. So now uh, we should start to receive primary photo URL in our API response. 
let's refresh the page and see uh, if we are getting the primary photo url in the api response paste this response in json viewer yep we are now getting the primary photo url uh, to the path that is hosted on the cloud and if we look at the other properties uh, we are getting null in this field uh, that is in case if the primary photo is not set for any property so next we can update our front end uh, to display the primary photo here uh, from the cloud let's close all open file and go to the angular application uh, go to the property list component uh, where we are displaying property cards and here we are using this property field and getting each item in the property variable and passing it here as an input parameter in the property card component so the property card component is where we need to make the changes uh, to display the primary photo of the image let's open the html of this component at present we are getting the image from the db and displaying the images from our static folder but now we are already getting the full path of the image url in this photo field uh, we can use that field here so we need to add a photo property in this uh, property variable and this uh, property variable uh, is a type of i property base so go to the definition of this interface here we can replace the name of this uh, property from image uh, to the photo as this is what we are getting from our api response now we can change the same in our html template of the property card component as we are getting a full image path of the cloud uh, we do not need this hard-coded path also change it here in the ng if condition as well save it and refresh the page perfect we are getting our primary image from the cloud now and if the image is not available uh, we are displaying the default image uh, from our static folder let's try to add a new photo uh, for this property so copy the id of property that is needed here to add the photo uh, against the property id let me upload uh, this new photo yep image has uh, successfully been uploaded on cloud uh, refresh the page yep this newly uploaded photo is now appearing here as the primary photo on this list page but at present we are just uh, setting our first uploaded image as the primary photo and there is no option uh, to set the primary photo in our application but user should have the option to set any uploaded image as a primary photo so let's update our API uh, to add this new feature next.